Hi, I'm Kelly Ritchie. Today I'm going to talk to you about building strength in your left hand. Now, I'm a right-handed player, so my left hand is what's on the neck. Some people prefer to do these with both hands. That's fine. Obviously, if you're a left-handed player, uh, the focus will be put on your, your right hand, okay? Whatever hand's on the neck, unless you want to do both. The first one is an isometric exercise, and it has really given me so much benefit throughout the years. It just really taps into muscles that there's nothing I've ever done in the gym that has touched what this particular exercise has given to me, okay? So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to open your hand all the way, close it all the way, and then go as fast as you can. Do not cheat in either direction. Open it all the way, close it all the way. Usually people start doing this and they don't even realize it. All the way open, all the way closed, all the way open, all the way closed. Okay? Now, after about 30, 40, 50 of these, your hands and your forearm are really going to start burning. You want to build up to where you can do 300 of these in a row each day. And you can do multiple sets of them if you like. Okay? So again, open your hand all the way, closing it all the way. A tight fist, but not one that, you know, you clamp down and your hand shakes or your arm shakes. Just closed all the way and opened all the way. Okay? 300 times. Again, that will really burn. That will really build all these little muscles. Um, I've had trouble. I grew up playing piano, and then as soon as personal computers were a reality, I had one, and I spent... I was either on the computer or I was on um, my guitar. Uh, and I still continue to play piano some. Uh, I have had to learn to type right-handed, and I don't play piano a lot anymore. Uh, this kind of movement really hurts. So I'm a very fast typer with my right hand. Uh, I've had to make some choices along the way. Uh, being a female, I feel like um, for a female, I'm extremely strong but probably I'm not going to beat uh, many guys in arm wrestling. So it's been critical for me. So if there's any girls that are watching this, it's really been critical for me to build up hand strength, build up, you know, my forearms. So this exercise will do that. Now I have two more exercises. When I first started having trouble with my wrist, it was a number of years ago, pretty early in my career, and I was working at a gym, and I happened to be working out that day, uh, and I met a guy that was a tennis pro that had had a wrist injury and had to learn to play, I believe he said, with the alternate hand. He saw what I was doing. He gave me some tips that day that have been really helpful. Here's two exercises. One, he had me take, uh, I, these happen to be 10-pound uh, dumbbells. You want your arms at a 90-degree angle, okay, just like an L shape arms, your elbows by your side, and you're just going to twist, okay? If 10 pounds is too heavy, whatever, you know, is feels safe but really challenges you, I do about 50, 50 of these at a time. I usually just do one set every day that I work out, and I tend to work out three or four days a week, um, at least two or three days with weights. Um, so you want to do that, build up to 50 times. Then the next one, and I'm not sitting on a couch normally when I'm in the gym, but for the purposes of, of this example, I have my arm laying on my leg with my wrist right at the end of my leg where my knee comes and the bend is. And so I can just roll this down. And when I roll my hand down, I feel the back part of my hand hitting my knee, and I roll down where my fingers uncurl so it goes to the fingertip. The, the, I just let the dumbbell roll down to the, into my fingertips, and then back up. And I do this 50 times as well. And you want all the movement coming up from your elbow and below, okay? I'm not really tapping into my arm up here, although if I'm in the mirror or something I have on short sleeves or a tank, I can see these muscles are obviously affected. I want to focus, though, on really being nice and smooth in my transition as I let the dumbbell 
roll down, uncurl my fingers, and then curl back up. Okay? So those are three exercises that I have found to be just really helpful in um, building hand strength and keeping injury away. Um, you know, when they said I had carpal tunnel and I needed surgery, I had to make some choices. One, I wanted to try to overcome that without surgery. These exercises and limiting, you know, this movement, typing, playing the piano, to where, you know, if anything starts feeling like I'm getting strained here in this direction, I just simply don't do it. Um, haven't had any trouble, really. Um, as long as I stay on top of my exercises, and I stretch every day, every single day of my life, I stretch, full body stretch, because guitar is a very physical instrument. And when I, you know, there's a reason why guitar players make the faces that they do. Bending strings and, you know, reaching for things and, and making things happen on the neck of this guitar, you've really got to have hand strength, you've got to have obviously the technique to do it, uh, but then you've got to really go for it. You've got to stand a certain way, you've got to reach for it, um, you know, if you were hitting a baseball, you wouldn't just stand there and swing at it. You'd do whatever it took to get in position to be able to hit that ball, okay? So all of these things are a factor. I do finger exercises every single day. I warm up with finger exercises. And I don't necessarily practice every day by any means. I play a lot. So these are things that I find that keep me in shape, keep me playing. And sometimes I, I have to play as many as three one-hour shows a night, uh, Usually we do 175 or 90 minute or maybe 275 shows, minute shows. So, you know, that's a lot of high energy blues based rock coming at you. So these are some tips and hopefully this was helpful and best of luck to you. Okay, Kelly Ritchie, thanks for watching.